Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm German. I want to apologize for that. And here's another game from my childhood. It's called Captain Blood. And um I'd like to say in advance, I have not a single clue why I'm doing this because uh, I, if I'm afraid I still have no clue what this game really is about. Because uh, I started playing it uh, when I was a kid, when I was uh, maybe six years old or so. And uh, fuck, I had <laughs> not a fucking clue what to do in this stupid game. Uh, so later when I was maybe eight or ten, I have read the manual and I knew uh, there was actually a story behind that. Uh, who would have guessed? Uh, but still, I could not really figure out what this game was about. I played it back when I was a teenager. I played it uh, shortly before I finished high school, but at no time I could really get behind uh, what I have to do in this game. Um, so basically, uh, it has a story. Um, you play some computer programmer who gets sucked into his own game, which he just designed, and, um, well, you are split into five clones, and these clones are spread all over the game universe of uh, the thing you get sucked in, and you have to find all of these clones and kill them. Um, I think you only have uh, 30 hours or 300 hours of time, uh, which... Um, sounds like a long time range but however this game is so um so fucked up uh, i don't think you can make it in 300 hours actually um so yeah basically it's about uh flying through space visiting planets and talking to aliens and ask them where uh, these clones at so yeah <laughs> let's have a look at this so you start and you're already uh, near a planet and you can uh, have a closer look at this planet so i don't see anything here it just uh, zooms in well funny enough i can now zoom here but i see <laughs> nothing at all whatever i was supposed to see here and so you can also land on this planet and then um, start a shitty crap uh, 3d trial I think uh, this crosshair, uh, sometimes it uh, shows you, you should, now you see, now it uh, shows an arrow to the left, which, uh, to the right, uh, which basically, or I guess, means I should go more to the right. So, this is a uh, typical, um, these are quite typical graphics, which you see here. Uh, these are very typical for uh, flight simulations on the Amiga. Where you only see lines drawn and you should think, oh Christ, I, I'm flying through space actually on a shitty planet here, chasing aliens, I don't know. So uh, the sound really kills me too, and I think you can, uh, oh yeah, you can set the speed. And uh, yeah, basically you, you, you now I'm flying around and waiting for something to happen. Oh cool, I crashed into, into the rock. Uh, great one. Uh, so uh, this game is made by Axis, which later went on to be uh, Cryo. Cryo is maybe a little bit known for making the first Dune game, which I think is very very cool and should not be... oh, I think that was too much crashing. <laughs> okay, stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, so it seems like these guys <clears throat> later would start to know what uh, a good game should be like. <clears throat> uh, by these times, these uh, these Frenchmen obviously um, had a nice idea, but did not really think of um, how how much fun it would to play this game. So at least I want to find some alien to show you this uh, dialogue system. It actually has has a nice dialogue system where you have to use different um, different icons to choose what you want to say to this alien. However, I by now I did not really figure out what you could ask those aliens. So somehow sometimes they give you coordinates and then you can fly to these planets and find other species. I don't know. However, oh god, I crash again. I suck so hard. Okay. 
um, yeah, sometimes you get coordinates from these aliens and uh, then they send you to another planet where you <clears throat> find another species you can talk to, uh, but I could not really fi find parts of a story there or um, that, that you get some hint level, so at least you have a, a, a small, really, that you at least could have a tiny clue of what you have to do in this game. Sorry, I actually still don't get it. And um, I've been researching a little bit on the internet and I found out that there is some kind of fan community about this game which say, oh, it's, it's one of the greatest games ever made because it's so complex and uh, so sophisticated and the concept is great and it's so hard to play and so it's so cool. But uh, if the game is complex and hard, that does not automatically mean it's cool. So, now I automatically stopped here and it's rendering, so I guess we'll find some alien now. Oh, I'm so looking forward to talking. <clears throat> okay, so here's an alien. So, now you see, this is what what he just said to me. He laughed at me. Yeah, thanks a lot, <laughs> asshole. <clears throat> and now he says, uh, me, big, money, me, Big, big cracks. So uh, maybe he tries to tell me that he has much money and he's a big uh, something. So me not like you. Yeah, thanks a lot. No um, <clears throat> growth fourteen. Growth fourteen planet Mikrax. Thanks a lot. So, uh, obviously, he doesn't like us very much. <clears throat> uh, thanks either. Me, say, information, Migrax, rocket, brave. Whatever that is supposed to mean. Rocket, brave, kill, you, laugh. Dive a little cursing. Uh, yeah. So, and now um, I can choose from a lot of icons here. Uh, so now I could ask him about uh, rockets. So now he says rockets brave, great Migrax. Okay. You say rocket brave, kill you. Uh, you already said that. Dumbass. You. Um. Oh yeah, fuck you. Uh, okay, insult, cursing, cursing, insult, insult. Oh, send me away from his planet. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have a question mark here. Oh, I can go back to the interrogation. So maybe I want to say him that uh, I'm gonna <laughs> going to blow up his planet now. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, um, oh, let's do this quickly. Um, hello, I'm back. Yeah, we already heard that, so he <laughs> says the same shit he already told me. Don't want to know. Don't really know what it's about. Yeah, right, so I... Where's this call? I... Kill you. Um, Rob had big warrior death. Bite me. So I say goodbye, goodbye, and I can now go back to the planet and say I want to uh, kill this one. Because uh, this alien was a douche. <clears throat> oh, nice animations. Actually, actually, the graphics are not that bad. Um, you had a lot of these colorful effects in Amiga times because they maybe wanted to simulate um, yeah, 3D effects or something like that and thought, oh, this really looks great. But um, somehow at least they uh, put some effort in that. 
you can see. So now I have a space map here and I can set the coordinates uh, for the planet, uh, the next planet I want to go to. And you have another badass color animation Star Wars thingy fuck up. <clears throat> okay, but um, let's use <laughs> the time to sum it up. Um, I just, fuck, I just don't know what this game is about. And so <laughs> it's kind of unplayable for me. Um, basically for the idea, I'd like to give three points out of five. Because the idea is not so bad. So it's some some kind about uh, you travel through space and have to, to ask uh, your way to to get to your your target and find these clones, destroy them and so on. But however, this is the only thing in this game, so you have no <clears throat> no kind of kind of action there. You're just wandering around and uh, talking to people. It's like uh, Sex and the City, the game, and you're visiting planets and you don't get any hint what you have to do. You have re you really you have to find out yourself, and. Um, that's not a lot of fun, but the idea is nice so that you have a dialogue based game where you have to ask your way to get somewhere you have to get um, you have to go before you die because of um, split thingy uh, for the realization I'd uh, like to give uh, well uh, two points okay because the graphics and the sound are not so bad and it creates some nice looking style but uh, that's all. And they didn't really think of a concept and of some gameplay which could um, motivate to go on playing there. <laughs> and so they had a decent idea, but not more than that. And um, didn't make as much uh, out of this idea as they maybe could have done. And for the overall fun, I yeah, I, I cannot give any points there because this game is just not fun and it's not motivating. And I... Uh, I just played it for 10 minutes and already I don't feel like uh, continuing to play it and uh, I don't feel like playing it ever again. Maybe in uh, 50 years I will give it another trial and uh, see again that I still don't know what this is about and I still can solve it. <clears throat> so uh, this was Captain Blood. There was a sequel made later which was called Commander Blood. I don't really want to play this. I hope you understand. Um, nice looking game, somehow weird and you don't know what you have to do. And so it's not very much fun playing it and I can really not recommend. If you understand this game and you know how to play it, please let me know. I, I'd be highly interested. Okay, that's... Um, oh, shit. Time's up. Bye.